Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So this is a video that I'm actually making for my guild, or my guildies, and most of the guildies are are on my channel. Like basically, people that are from my channel. Um, one of my, my previous videos, I basically did a shout out and tried to get people to come join my guild. And a lot of people have been asking as well, like um, if they can come join. And the thing is, like everybody's welcome, and we're also still actively recruiting. But I actually wanted to kind of. Um, Kind of share with you guys how I've learned that the guild system works and how you can help out your guild. So even if you're not in my guild, you can still learn from this video to to do the the most possible to to help out your guild. Um, so yeah, let's let's begin. Um, just just a little little shameless advertisement right here. My guild is currently actively recruiting. We are level three, so we are um, strong enough to be doing guild guild battles. We we just hit level three today. We're, I know it says 31 out of 33, but I do have 5 ults in the guild, so we do have 5. I, we have 7 slots, alright, we have 7 slots open in the guild right now. Um, and we're, we're recruiting anyone that is um, that is active. So first things first, I, I wanted to um, tell you guys how you should, like the number one way you can help level the guild. I think the guild level is very very important, you'll, you'll see why in a second. Um, but the number one way to help your guild level up, I think this is really really helpful, especially for people that still are in a level one guild, is super simple. All you got to do is play the game. That's that's all you have to do. You just have to be actively playing. Um, your guild get, gains one exp every single time you use a dagger. So it gains six exp every single time you use you run a stage with six daggers. Um, that's very very straightforward. You basically you. The more you play, the faster your guild levels up. The more everybody in your guild plays, the, the faster your guild levels up. And you want your guild to level up fast because um, every single time you level up, you get a your guild leader gets a point that he can use into into upgrading these um, these these three points. Basically, they they give permanent um, HP to like your team, or permanent physical and magical damage, and also permanent uh, exploration rewards for your your exploration. So, I, I went the, with the exploration because I, I don't know. I just think uh, it's these two aren't that helpful, but exploration will help you get a little bit more resources. So that'll help you progress a little bit more. Um, 0 0.5 damage won't really help your team like really win a win a fight. It might help you win sometimes, but it's like it's very very minimal. I think like the, the chances of that happening uh, most of the time is not not all that helpful, so I went with the exploration first. But I, I did start upgrading these two because when you upgrade it twice, it starts costing two points. So I'm probably going to upgrade this and then upgrade this two more times and then um, go back to upgrading this. So that's that's one of the reasons why you want your guild to level up fast. And also, um, I think that's the main reason. Like, there's, there's no other reason to have your guild level high because your guild level, the only thing that, that helps your, your guild, in, like the only thing that um, is helpful in having a high guild level is, is the number of points that you can have, that you can add into your your, your guild buffs. Um, there's another way to level up your guild, and that is through donations. Um, you'll see, you actually see right here that my, I've um, I've stated that there's no donation requirements for my guild. A lot of the top guilds, like top top guilds, they have like um, just strict donation requirements. Basically, everyone at most every day can donate 500 um, 500 crystals to the guild. And some of the, those top guilds basically require their their members to donate 500 um, crystals every single day. I think that's really really high. Like, especially if your if your guild is like has like free to play players. Um, because I think, and I think majority of the players are free to play. Even if you're not free to play, I really don't want to spend 500 crystals a day like donating to a guild. That's, that's, um, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too much. Uh, your crystals you can use for refreshing and stuff, and refreshing will give you more daggers, and that will actually help you level up the guild a bit more, and also make you stronger overall. So I, I don't think it's really that good of an investment to um, donate your crystals into the guild. Like if you have. Um, if you have extra crystals, it'll help yourself more not to not to um, spend it all on donating the guild. Instead, like spend some, you know, getting getting stronger. And if you're if you're stronger, that means uh, we'll win more guild battles and stuff. So I think it might be a little bit better to to hold off on that. But the thing is, if you have some extra gold, definitely dump them in the guild bank because I don't think there's really any other use of gold besides upgrading your pets. Like I think the main reason, like the main source that um, 
my my structures are, are gonna get leveled. Like the main way my structures are gonna get leveled is actually through through just a donation of gold. But it's gonna be a very very long time before um before it actually keeps leveling. But we're just gonna we're just gonna put in um you know I, I do put in like five gold donations a day try to try to level it, level it up a bit. But I don't think that's really a re really a requirement for anyone as well because some people are gold starf like you know I don't know why you would be gold starf but some people happen to be gold starf and sometimes when I'm raising a lot of units I'm I'm short on gold too so um, basically I wouldn't expect myself to do that so I I don't expect anyone else to to really ha have to do that either um, the last. Actually, no, it's not the last thing. There's actually a few things. Um, I think, I think it's always good to be in a guild. Like this, this thing, I might like to remind you guys, but this is more for you than for me. If you like someone in your guild, you get 30 daggers back. So every time you, um, you get to like two people every single day, and when you like them, it gives you 30 daggers back. So I think only four, five, six, seven. Only 12 people like people, and we have like 20 something people, so there's people that actually don't know about this in, in my guild. Um, if you like someone, you get you get 60 daggers back. You can get 60 free daggers every single day by liking someone. There's, I think the, there's a bonus to whoever you like, they get like one extra guild point, I think. So, um, you know, I, did, I got 5 likes today, and this way I got, uh, I got 5 extra points. That was that was basically it. It's it's pretty straightforward. It's um it's not really it doesn't really matter who you like. You can just like whoever, and then you'll it's more for you than for me. You'll get sixty daggers back, and then you can use those sixty daggers to to do, run levels, and it'll help level the guild even more. Um yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it for the guild system. That's that's the main way to level up your guild. So. In short, if you want to help out your guild, just be active, like be really, really active, and just keep playing every single day. Try not to waste a single dagger, and just uh, just level up as level up yourself as much as you can, because it'll really help your guild in the future when you're um, when we're doing guild battles and stuff. So, just uh, just another. Um, this is kind of an announcement for the people who are in my guild right now. I do have a Discord channel, like over here, like this is right here, Discord. You enter this link and it pops out this screen. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you a screen. Um, my this is my desktop. Basically, uh, Discord is a chat service or chat program. Um, it's a chat program that uh, it's not. You don't really have to download a program for it. If you enter that link into your your browser, it will take you to a page that looks a web page that looks almost exactly like this. Um, and it's it's basically a channel where where we talk and stuff. And also there's also voice channels. I think the main selling point of Discord is like it's a voice channel, so you can go in and um, sign into a channel and talk to people and stuff. So I I do invite you guys. I did make a separate channel within the server to um, just for our guild. It's this Super Superbia um, Lineage Right Knights Guild over here. So basically we have a few people in our guild in here already, and we're talking. Um, strategy, yet. talking like not real strategy, because I, I have no idea how to do guild battles. But I think in order to have a little bit more coordination in the future, um, definitely invite you guys to come here. I, I'm not gonna make it a requirement because I, I, I don't expect anyone to like have to use another service. But it's super convenient. Like even if you don't want to download another program, um, just, just having that on the browser is still really, really good. Like you can, you can have it open in your browser and. Um, yeah, you can talk whenever. You know, if you if you guys have any questions for me or anything like that, you can you can ask it, and I'll I'm pretty much always on, and I'll answer it as fast as possible. It's, it's definitely a lot faster than me answering um, comments on YouTube, I think. So yeah, that's uh, that's the last thing. Um, there's also another thing, like another. Think way that you can communicate with your guild. I think this might be useful in the future. I don't know how many people actually use it, and it's through the community tab. Um, there's actually a guild forum where you can leave stuff for the guild, but I'm not sure how many people are are looking at this even. Um, but I did leave two things. I left a welcome message for everyone. And I left a like you know link to my Discord because I'm trying to get everybody that is in my guild on here um, as soon as possible. 
But yeah, last thing, if you want to apply for my guild, it's called Superbia, you can look it up. Um, give me an in-game name, you can come, you can basically come on my Discord and tell me your, tell me, and I, I can, I can add you right away, you know. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be figuring out how the guild battle system works, and then just continuing from there on. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.